Here's the problem. Ann Coulter uh, just walked in and said she wants me deported. Now, I was, like Nikki Haley, born. <laughs> well, I was born in Brooklyn, you know, the capital of the United States. So I am I am a New York Jew, uh, New York liberal Jew, uh-huh. which, according to Ted Cruz, is 0 for 3, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, well, you were uh, just telling me I didn't hear his uh, apology today, uh, but it does sound pretty clear. Yeah, I apologize to New York. I apologize for the liberals who basically ruined all the lives of you good, we're hardworking, patriotic <laughs> conservatives. I apologize for Cuomo and de Blasio. Who, who, that's you know, kind of funny. I got yeah, to admit. Right, right. Yeah, he, is he, he is He's clever. He is clever. He's not I natural thought- born. <laughs> Unfortunately, you, 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 you think he cannot be president? No, and everyone's repeating what I said. You got to read my column because, um, first of all, I actually did the research, and liberals are going to be sorry I did the research because either are anchor babies, right? Um, right. But you know, it's 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 a legal concept that goes back 400 years. I won't right. bore you. Look it up on AnnCoulter.com, but I can promise you, everybody on TV has read it because they're repeating the lines. Well, now you've from got the an column. attorney in, out of Houston who's actually filing. This guy Schwartz is actually filing yeah. a lawsuit now. Um, you got Lawrence Tribe agreed with you right, right but i explained it better because i can explain it to, to laymen and also to my fellow conservatives but you know right, in, okay. in well, a nutshell uh, if right. you need a law to be passed to make you a citizen you're not a citizen through the constitution you're not national born right. um what what cruz is you're is, a lawyer by the way people don't know that about you yes and, yeah. and longtime constitutional right. lawyer but unfortunately i mean remember my first book high crimes and misdemeanors and i noticed then right um that legal analysis had become, you know, a partisan game. Well, it it isn't. I am partisan, but the law is the law. The Constitution is the. And by the right. way, I said this when I supported Cruz for right. president when there but, was no but, Trump. But you know. <laughs> That first of all, you know Obama's legally able to be president, right? Obama well, okay, away. excellent point. Why weren't li- all these conservatives who are now claiming that you know their careful analysis of 400 years of common law is right. that Ted Cruz, you only need your mother to be an American citizen? Why didn't they leap forward during the birther controversy? Our right. position, my position, everybody, every con- serious conservative's position was no, he was born in Hawaii. Why weren't these other ones jumping forward saying, hey, it doesn't matter if he was born in right. Kenya? Right. What? Because his mother was born. Right. right, right Nobody right. contested whether but, but she you, was a you, citizen. But you know Obama is legally qualified to be president of the United States, right? Yes, though, interestingly, um, this wasn't the point of my column. I mean, it is absolutely without question that Ted Cruz is not natural born. Um, in fact, he wouldn't have even—he was born a citizen. That is different from being natural born. Right. Congress had to pass a law so that if you were born to an American citizen mother abroad, you would be a citizen. If Congress has to pass a law, you're not natural born under the Constitution. Right. And until— 1934, he wouldn't have been born a citizen. He would have no right. claim to citizenship. But anyway, the point I didn't make in my column, and don't yell at me. We don't have to get into it, but I think, <laughs> but I think it's actually true, and it doesn't matter. You know, Obama's about to finish his term. Um, I think your parents do have to be citizens. So that rules well, one, out one. Rubio. Well. Okay. That rules out Jindal. Well, I don't know about your parents having any citizens. Ru- well, well, Rubio was I born here. He's a, so he's a natural born citizen. He was born, born here, citizen. but I think you have to be born for, to be so natural you, born citizen. So will you file a suit against Rubio if he's the nominee? He's not going to be the nominee. <laughs> Would you? Well, you never know. <laughs> little Ricky Ricardo. Oh. The nominee is going to be <laughs> little Trump. Little Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> That's not racist, Ann Coulter. Um, no, <laughs> little it transcends Ricky Ricardo. race. Let me explain something to you. It trans- <laughs> ra- transcends race. Now that Rubio is collapsing, Paul Ryan is moving into my most hated politician category. Why Paul Ryan? Why do you hate Paul Ryan? For the same reasons I hate Rubio. Which is why? Because they both want to inundate the country with tens of millions of foreigners to start outvoting Americans. Taking American benefits. By the way, you broke my Twitter. Excellent. How did I do that? You know what you do on Twitter. <laughs> you know what did you, you do. Did you see me live tweeting last night? No, I had some fantastic I tweets. I was live tweeting, but I wasn't paying attention to and, you. And, well, you have to follow me on I, debate night, Alan. I know. Well, how about, yeah, okay. They were fantastic. Right. Anyway, one of them was on the New York, and I didn't, I loved Trump. I always think his answers are great. I thought it was his best debate performance, and I know the media is going crazy over the whole New York thing. It was that's a great when, That's answer. when he was good. The, but that wasn't, the reason, the reason everybody's calling that his best moment was because everyone in the media lives in New York and they're pissed off. Right. But, but he's a real New but Yorker. But I tweeted don't. out, he is totally a real New Yorker. Right. Um, and at, I tweeted out at that moment because um, I have a memory like an elephant. Um, and I found the article today. It was in the New York Times. Guess which zip code gave the most money to George Bush. In 10021. Two- Bingo. You I won. know. I read that. 
Did you uh, see it on my Twitter feed? I think I believed. I think I did see it on your Twitter feed. As a matter of you fact, see, you see, gotta yeah, yeah. follow my Twitter. Because feed. I can't avoid you on Twitter. <laughs> I tried. I can't get away from you. <laughs> one zero two one, uh, which is the Upper East Side, I think, yes. uh, in New York. And uh, uh, didn't you say that you were familiar with that zip code? Or somebody tweeted that they lived there. No, it wasn't you, but somebody else tweeted that I lived there. I was living there yeah. in two thousand four. I was very right. proud of my zip code. Right, and so they were a big Bush contributor. Yeah, the, uh, but that gave more money than right. anyone else. So, and you know, William F. Buckley, me, Hannity. Well, he doesn't um, live in 10021. No, 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 but New York. New right, York right, values. Yeah. Right. No, I mean, come so on. what you know what New York values means, right? Yeah. I mean, I knew what he meant, but it was a good comeback well, by Trump. What do you think he meant? Liberals. What? And liberal what? Gays, oh, Jews. Oh, you think no, 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 just liberal. Uh, uh, yeah. But you know that could be dog whistling to a bunch. You know that he's smart and Cruz is very smart. He is. You very know smart. that when he says that, I don't think he's I dog gotta tell you. I have, to, just I have to break the news to you. Um, liberal is bad enough. <laughs> That's right. like the most horrible thing you right. can call someone. Right. You're trying to say it's a dog Gee, and whistle. I, always, I thought it was a compliment. I always put that in the title of my books, but then so do you. But there's some predicates to it that aren't too good. I think right. I think Trump had much better moments. I thought his response to Nikki Haley was better. Also, my absolute favorite moment was when they were asking, uh, I guess, Jeb Bush about um, and um, about the temporary suspension of Muslim immigration until we figure out what the hell is going on, to quote my hero, our savior, the man who's going oh, to save savior. my world. Oh, and uh, I think it was Maria came back and said, well, you know, um, but since he said that, he went <laughs> up eight points in this state. And yeah. then Trump interrupted to say 11 <laughs> well, I know you love the guy. He has such I know great you'd, timing. you'd probably marry him if he were single, right? You'd probably give Melania a run for her money. I totally right. would. But yeah. mostly I just want him to be our president. All right. And he's All right. going let's, let's, to be. Let's, let's say you're no he's not. Let's say you're right. Yes, okay. Yes. Let's say you're right. And I don't mean just far right. It's but a let's phenomenon. say you're right. Let, it is a phenomenon for what it is. But let's say you're right and he is the nominee. Does he beat Hillary yep. Clinton? As and of, does he beat Bernie Sanders? Oh, absolutely. Um, as of week two, after, I mean, he won me over with the Mexican rapist speech. Um, he, yeah, he but won I you needed, over by putting down brown skinned people who want to come to this country and calling Mexicans rapists with, with no qualification, like you know they're all a bunch of rapists. all the Hispanics in this town. And you had a book out they of this. Love that. I think you coordinated your book release with Trump. No, I think but he read my it. book. I'm like one of those, um, one of those, isn't it like a spider that gives birth to all the children and then dies? That's what I feel like. I only needed one person to read, Adios America, and he read it. And that's yeah. where he got all that great stuff on Mexican rapists. But the reason it took me until week two to say he's going to get the nomination, he's going to be our nominee, was I wanted to make sure he wouldn't, it sounds funny now, he wouldn't back away from it. Right. Trump does not back away. Once I was confident, he was he uh, was sticking with this policy on There are three words he's never uttered. I was wrong. He will yeah, never say that. Yeah, and he shouldn't. Either have I. Has he ever been wrong about anything? Oh, have well, he might in private life like me. Uh, have you ever been wrong about anything in public life? No. You've never made a mistake. Well, You've well, never said anything. Did you oh, ever, no, did sure. You ever, I mean, I've taken things back, but you, when you say, I was wrong, all right, but it's you know, usually because you're being browbeaten for some political right, okay, incorrect but you know what people Have I at, made mistakes? Yes, I made a mistake. I was browbeaten, um, not in, on politically correct grounds, but I kept saying from the beginning, Cruz isn't natural born, Cruz isn't natural born, Cruz isn't natural born, and I said it on Hannity one night, and then all these constitutional lawyers in Washington, partisan hacks, um, emailed me claiming, oh, yes, he is, and here, there's this law, and, I, and so the next day I tweeted, oh, great news, last night I said on Hannity, Cruz isn't natural born, it turns out I was wrong, which is, you know, that tweet, well, yeah. you can't go back on that, that has the force of law, Anne, <laughs> right. but yeah. then I looked it up, and it turns out I was right, have they you, were partisan hacks. Have you ever been wrong where you said, look, I've gone too far. No, I, all right, like, no that like kind of thing. Clint, no. Like Clinton masturbates in sinks. I mean, you That's know. That's a fact. It was in the Star mean, Report. Fact. Okay. I don't <laughs> know that. I mean, you know, and what did you Wanna say about. Want to hear some more stuff? Sure. <laughs> that didn't make the Star Report? Yeah, like. Monica talking to Linda Tripp. I think I've said this before. Maybe not. You could be breaking news here. Okay. I heard it on the tapes. Think of a thumb. You just may mull that over now. What? What? Yeah, I heard it on the tapes. Think of a thumb. She was describing. What would she be describing, Alan? Is he playing dumb, John? No, I really don't know. 
<laughs> could you be Ed McMahon could, could here? Could you explain this, to me this, what you're This talking? might be as graphic as we can get. I would stop right there if I were you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. you're going, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a break, and John will explain to me what you were talking about. And we'll open up the Remember phones. Remember the Monica Lewinsky scandal? Remember the pe- yes. presidential knee pads? Yes, what yes. might she be talking about? No idea. Back in a moment. <laughs> I want to play like I'm a pure person, like Sean Hannity. Uh, 877-367-2526. Entertaining all points of view. Before an Obama and the rest of the Muslim. Every night. What planet is this show coming from tonight? Alan Cole. For a minute, I had a flashback to the 90s <laughs> and uh, Coulter is our guest. <laughs> when we first met. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> By the way, so it's this it's like bring, bring, bringing back the golden oldies with Bill Clinton, right? <laughs> yeah. And, and Hillary Clinton. Well, it's worth it. And I, I, I mean, as I tweeted early on when, oh. when uh, Trump's immigration policy paper came out, I don't care if Donald Trump performs abortions in the White House as long as he pursues this immigration policy. Now, that's hyperbole. Obviously, he's not going to. But it makes an important point, which is unless we limit it to Americans voting, I'll trust Americans, but we're being outvoted here. But anyway, my point is the other stuff I really don't care about as long as he does, and he's going to, the stuff he says he's going to do on immigration. But in fact, his other policies are fantastic. You want, what policy? He's never really been. There. He's not going to build a wall in Mexico to pay for it. He's not going to he deport. Totally is. He's not going to deport nine million seven whatever the number is. Thirty people. million, not minimum. He's not going to. He's going to deport thirty million people. Well, we'll how de- is he going to do that? The same way Eisenhower did it, as he explained in the debate. If you were that listening, that was a horrible, was horrible like time in our history. <laughs> it was a fantastic time. Operation it was the Wetback. 50s. Operation yes, Wetback, and it works. Yeah, and calling people wetbacks. Oh, I'm sorry, but uh, it's the do, Trump do, do, era do, do, now. Do you understand how this comes up? Do you off? understand it's the Trump no. era? Do you this understand? country doesn't have time for political it's correctness. It's his world that we live in, and I know you think that. This country doesn't have time do for political correctness. Do you, you understand how racist you come <laughs> off when you say stuff like that? <laughs> do you know how racist is what liberals say when they're losing an argument no, to a conservative? I mean, there is such a thing as racism. <laughs> You want? Do you want a white country, a white culture? No, I want an American country. What and does if, that mean? If, America's if always you changing. Flood it with third world. It is not always changing. Yes, it's it been is. changing in the last thirty years. It's always it's changed. It's been amazingly identical. Irish Catholic need not apply when Catholics came here from Ireland. That's, it's changed. Eastern that's a Europeans myth. like my father who came Irish here. Irish need not apply is a myth. Right. It, you never saw those. Well, we weren't alive then, but the science. We weren't existed. alive. No, they weren't. No, and, they weren't. Uh, no, my they father weren't. came from Eastern Big Europe. University of Illinois professor looked it up. It's absolutely false. The, he there did was a not anti Catholic. It's absolutely false. Look at the anti Catholicism that happened when John F. Kennedy ran president. You're going to obey the oh, Pope. Pete's You're going to the... became president. And plus, which um, they were English speakers from a small, um, the British Isles. It was continuing oh. the tradition of. All of America being populated by a part of Europe that's about the size of Japan and a part of, um, you know, Africa that's also the size of Japan. That was it for 200 years. Then we got expanded to, you know, wildly exotic, another group of white people from Europe. How is Germans? How is your hero, (laughs) King Donald? The Donald. I was just trying to get American history straight. It's Thank only you. since post 1970. How is he going to deport 30 million people? How? What is the process going to be? Well, if he and if you want to bring back Eisenhower, it wasn't 30 million people. How is Donald Trump going to do it? Right, but he, we also had an INS that was being run by about three people then. So tell me what the process is <laughs> what to happens deport is, 30 million I'll people. I'll tell you how you do it. Um, I mean, yes, you do it the way it, Operation Wetback works. They don't have to call it that so that we don't upset oh, you, Oh, we've got to be politically correct, yeah. Yes, we don't we'll want to call it wetback only to please the liberals. Yes, to please liberals. Right. What they did is they moved north from from the border, and they just, you know, stopped at homes and, they, and deported at home. anybody. So wait a minute. No, so, no, wait. I haven't finished home. the point. No, yeah, and they found them and they threw them out. I haven't finished the point. Obviously, we're going to throw out all the felons, all the refugees, um, these Syrian refugees that um, Obama's bringing in. What happened with Operation Wetback under the great President Eisenhower at the booming period in American history was for every one um, um, they were Mexicans mostly Mexican who was deported 10 more would they got the message and they'd leave so my idea is 
Trump's idea is first we get rid of the really bad ones. We'll start with the felons, the rapists, the murders, the drug dealers, blah, blah, blah. Of course, we want to do that. My idea is no, 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 no. You get the law-abiding illegal immigrants, the ones that everyone loves. You send in the SWAT team, call in the press, and they will really get the message. You want to message. send the SWAT team in where? Well, MTV for the illegal alien with his own TV show on MTV. Right, send him to MTV. It's so awful living in the shadows. He has so his own show you want to you want to knock on doors and go to people's houses coming up from the border just knock on doors and see who's not here legally right and ask people for their papers right that's what you want to do yeah so the authorities knock on your door yeah. what right do they have to come into my house they're looking for illegals they don't have any right to come into my house. You need a search warrant. Yes, they, yes, they do. They, 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 they don't have any right to come into my house. Well, there it will be. The, <laughs> when it's part of Operation Wetback. We're removing well, well, illegals. Well, but they don't have any right to come into my house. Well, of course they do. If somebody says I have, there, there is an illegal living there. No, they don't. They, you need a search warrant to okay, come so into my property. Okay, so we'll get search warrants. You've got to get a court to give a search warrant. This is warrant. so. I, I can't believe you're going to bother with these stupid technicalities. Yes, stupid technicalities. It's called okay. the U.S. You aren't you? Didn't you just tell me you're a, constitu- you're a constitutional scholar? Yeah, but you can you can get it for. There are towns. There are communities. No one's speaking English. It's not that hard to figure out which homes to go to. So if to. you hear someone speak Spanish, we'll come into your house. We think you're not here no, legally. No, you can get the search warrant. Look, That's they're doing the, this with th- a, This is a horrible, racist. No, you just don't have to worry disgusting. about your job being taken by an illegal immigrant. I, let's look. If someone can do this immigrant. job better. You don't better. have to worry about being raped by an illegal immigrant. You don't have to worry you about around having being, your community center shot up you, by legal immigrants. Do you, as a woman, You are living walk in around. fancy Manhattan. You don't have to worry about that. You just get the cheap maid. And you strut around now like you're Martin Luther King. No, yeah, yeah, you, I strut Americans. around like Martin Luther King, right. Yeah, no, right. no. Americans have had it up to here with, with illegal immigrants, the, the um, work Working class, especially black working class, white working class, Hispanic working class, their wages are being driven down. That's why Trump is is pulling through the roof. We have an this economy. This is what the public wants. Don't bother me with the technicalities. Well, of course, don't it can bother be me done. with legal was, issues and a constitution and technicalities about whether we can go into somebody's house no, and look for undocumented me, immigrants. Oh, and what's the officer's name going to be, Anne? No, but you what's can't just say gonna I'm going to deport. And what will his uniform look you like? You're asking about. No, it's technicalities. Not. No, I'm asking about the Constitution. Can you can't just say I'm going to deport 30 million people and not have a plan to do it. And you can't do it unconstitutionally. Right. He will not be... do it unconstitutionally. How do you know? Because, because it was done not, in the 1950s. Out... That probably wouldn't pass muster today. The Constitution doesn't change like Not young people. Well, I'm not sure that uh, some, the interpretation of it sometimes becomes a little more robust. Like, for example, no. now gays are allowed to be married in this country because oh, of a constitutional sake. interpretation. Now that, we're talking about gays. No, my point is, this is that Kenya, the, the way the Constitution— Does a country the have way, the authority to remove people who snuck in illegally and are putting our nation at threat? Yes, of course, the nation the, has the authority yes, the to do that. Yes, the question is how they go about and doing it. And what the officer's and name go, is going to be and what his uniform is. Looks like without violating you're nitpicking the Constitution. Irre- irrelevancies. I'm it was done nitpicking. in the 1950s when the INS was um, as large as the staff of this studio. You want a primar- and they deported <laughs> three million people. Don't I put- think we can do it now. Look, we can barely do we the show with our staff. Never mind deport We've them. got drones. We have enormous federal bureaucracies. Yeah. I yeah. think it can be done. But the point is, for every one that gets deported, ten more leave. And I got to tell you, if Donald Trump. If I am correct that Donald Trump is the nominee and becomes the next president, I think a lot of illegals are going to get the message with that alone. I hope they they stand their ground and yes, do not believe. Yes, because you need your cheap maid. No, it's not about a cheap maid. It's about the economy that would you actually don't like suffer. Making your own there bed. Be, I'd make my own cleaning bed. Cleaning your own toilet. Cooking your own food. I guess I food. actually do those things. I don't know where my <laughs> kitchen is. That's I got me on that one. <laughs> We're going to come back in a moment <laughs> with Ann Coulter, and we'll take some calls at eight seven seven four Allen eight seven seven three six seven two five on alancombsradio.com. Check us out there. Ann Coulter, our guest. Uh, what's your next book going to be? I don't know. Are you know. working on it now? Because I'm, usually I would start work on the next book now, but I can't think about anything but getting Trump elected. 
They just all your focus. <laughs> that's all You've I'm actually forsaken on. the rest of your life. You have nothing. I else. just want to sit home and watch Trump on TV. That's all you do. This is your guilty pleasure. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, right. It's all about Which Trump. Which is easy, by What's the way. Your, what is your relationship with the Donald? I mean, he, you've interviewed, introduced him at rallies. Blind rally. worship. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I know you're a fan, but I mean, you talk to him. It's a little like you, the North Korean people with <laughs> with their dear leader. <laughs> oh God. Do you speak to him on any kind of regular basis? Is you like whisper in his ear? I don't mean. I don't mean it that way, but I mean like give him some ideas. No, I've talked to him a few times, but I don't want to hold him back. He's very busy. You know, he only needs four hours of sleep a night. Last night, he finished the debate. At tw- I'm watching him on TV at, like, um, you know, right. after midnight on right, live right. TV chit-chatting. One of my friends emailed me saying, he's on Morning Joe at 7 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> What's amazing is I've said, you know, he's had a perfect health record in his life, yeah. except for that one day he went for his draft physical. That was the only day that he had a bad problem that couldn't get him oh, into the I military. Oh, I don't think liberals want to get into oh, that. Oh, no, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Let's talk about, you're going to be a pro-military person. Oh, my health is great. I'll be the let's healthiest talk about person Howard ever. Dean. Never had At a least bad, he didn't go skiing never in had Vail. A, never had a bad day. Howard except, Dean claimed he had a, something you know, wrong with I his foot, and he went you. skiing in Vail. How, Howard Dean's not running this yeah, year. Yeah, but you guys didn't mind but it. But the point is, Trump brags about his health, but once he had a foot problem, and he can't remember which one. That got him out of the no, draft. We no, know, we know a lot of uh, people did things like that to get out of Vietnam. Did and he? You're, yeah, I don't oh, think oh, he's... Oh, oh, he didn't want to be in Bam. But I went to, he went to military... It was a long time ago. Uh, okay, but don't tell me how much you love the military. The most, and I went to he mili- does love the military. I went to military school, he said, which is better than serving in the military. He didn't say it was better. Did I learn more than military No, but school? I does have military discipline, and you yeah. can tell. he lo- he re- And the military loves him. Yeah. And you know who really loves him? Working class... Americans, we'll out, black, like Hispanic, white. Uh, it's a sure phenomenon. You uh, you have mi- no idea because you don't know them. Mr. Doppler, I live in New York. I know them. Mr. Dopplerson in Bangor, Maine. Ann Coulter, you are a blind kitten, and your uh, she's eyes a what? have been dazzled. A blind kitten. A blind kitten. And your eyes have been dazzled by the gold of Donald Trump. Our civilization is in a contest between our people and the God of our people. And the values of New York City, the financial powers. And he is a living embodiment of those powers and those values. The sexual immorality, he's been married th- three times. He's in favor of abortion. He is not. He was. Until he ran for president, he would call himself pro-choice. He's a casino well, operator. It was a flip remark in New York City. A flip remark. Okay, he was on like Larry I'm King show years ago. To Marco Rubio reading one of his speeches, he absolutely is not. I happen to agree with um, your premise about America and about the financial sector running the world. It is running the rest of my party. It is most cle- definitely not running Donald Trump. He's the only. Only candidate of either party who would ever say George Soros and Warren Buffett should pay the same tax rate as Ann Coulter. Why won't the rest of them do that? Uh, uh, I don't want to be interrupted by a Marco Rubio little pre-programmed speech, and that's what I'm getting from you. I got the drift of where you're going. Um, No, they won't because they're taking all the money from the hedge fund managers. Trump is the one who said, no, we're going to close that loophole. That's what I was starting to say to you before, Alan. I don't care what his other policies are. Immigration, every issue is dependent on immigration. on taxes. He's not a conservative, right? Um, well, I think he is. I don't think it, it's fair for if there is fairness in a tax code. He, he and I don't think it's fair about for a George one time Soros. thirty whatever percent extra. Tax he said on, he'd be willing to pay it, right? And yeah, on uh, the very rich, fantastic. I'm for that. No, he's a genuine yeah. populist. A nation. Wait, is Rubio is still on the populist. line? <laughs> yes, uh, yes you, Ms. Calder, I'm still here. You are a blind and I squirrel. <laughs> Mr. Dopplerson is, normally would agree with you because he's racist. He, well, I mean, he, not that you're racist, but, um, yeah, but, he would again, like to, but he would like to keep black. He would like to keep F black. you, Alan. Out of, <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, he wants to keep uh, blacks out of the country. Raise, he's immigration. I don't. He's, could, I don't. And as you, if you read my book, Alan, you would know I've uh, in the history of of America chapter, which is fascinating, and you should read it. No, I think it's really it's it's outrageous that all of these right as blacks after you know centuries of getting the short end of the stick in this country when all of our 
our our our charity, our our charity, social welfare, our concern should have been dedicated on bringing them up into the middle class. No, no, no. Let's bring in thirty million immigrants from the third world and spend it all on well, them. Um, it's colder. No, we immigrants have no lawyer. right to be piggybacking on the black experience, and they are. The reason we have civil rights laws, the reason we have affirmative action, is to compensate for slavery, the legacy of slavery, the legacy of Jim Crow. We didn't do anything to some Pakistani who arrived yesterday. What did we do to you? All we've ever done to the people of the rest of the world is save them from tsunamis and warlords. But yet, they piggyback, and they come in, and they're full of grievances and start their little angry ethnic grievance groups. No, screw you. You're not black. What I was saying, what I meant to say, in the way I to say it was that he would like to keep people out of this country in many much of the same way you would. No, I just want yeah, to keep everybody yeah. out. You want to keep everybody out, and he would too. For a while, yeah. as as Calvin Coolidge did, and it led to the most prosperous pr- prosperous period but in American history, and created like, an enormous middle class. But that sounds like you want to keep this a white based culture. Well, it is a white country, but, but it's not going to be after twenty forty, and that worries well, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, but you're. It's yeah that. You talk about it like it's just, you know, the rising, the sun rises yeah. in the east. This is a specific government policy to change America into it's change Uganda. Anyway. No, not it isn't. Not about Uganda. This is a government policy so you're saying to we change, do- to re- re- displace the people uh, of this country, which has been, yes, displaced. It is no. displacing them. For 200 years, this country was 80, 90 percent white, 10, 20 percent black. Suddenly, now we have to hear grievances from Pakistanis right. and wait, Indians wait, 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 and wait. Ugandans so- and... Are and, you saying you would and like Mexicans and Central Americans? Are you saying you would like government policies to keep the United States a primarily white country? It's, it's too late now, but why do we have to transform it? Do, well, why I didn't why want to live ma- in Mexico. Why does it matter what color the country is? It's not what color; it's what culture it is. And when you bring in millions of people, this is why the main anti-immigrant or immigrant restrictionist group in the country isn't called you know keep brown people out. It's called Numbers USA. When you yeah. bring in huge numbers of people from vastly different and backward and corrupt cultures, they bring that corruptness to this that country. That happened they in the late 1800s. They bring the child rape. No, That happened in the early 1900s. No, it didn't. And what happens is the next generation assimilates. When, because white people from a different part of Europe came here? It was a different culture. It was no, a corrupt it culture. Ireland? Not just Ireland. <laughs> okay, I'm not Eastern wild about Europe. the Catholics either, but come on, Alan. <laughs> Eastern Europe. So, I mean, th- they you were know, from the and, British Isles. And people were upset when Catholics came here, whether you want to admit that or and not. And they were right. right. Admit it. I talk about it in my book. They right. were right. And, and the they assimilated. Now was, Catholics are a big part of this country. They've assimilated. No, 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 no. no. You got to read my book to get understand what how I America read your actually book. I don't have developed. To agree with your book. The truth of the matter is, in colonial times, um, the colonies would make. Uh, citizens of Jews, but not of Catholics. Why? Because they thought Catholics were beholden to a foreign power. Catholics were not fully integrated into America until Catholics became more American Catholics, less Roman Catholic. All right. Well, no, but that's an important point because that. You see with the Pope, the backwards, the Catholic countries are backward, corrupt, dishonest. And why is that? Because it is part of the Roman Catholic that if you're poor, that's proof you're of your virtue. you're making my point for if me. If you're rich, that's proof you're, you're a sinner. You're making my point for me. We, we got rid of that, the American Catholics. Why? Because, as Samuel Huntington of Harvard said, every religion comes to America and becomes Protestant. So did the Catholics. They became one of the wealthiest <laughs> groups in this country because you're they're not embarrassed point, about being rich. Which is they came here not totally assimilatable at first became assimilated of course they and were become assi- a big part of our culture yeah. well a the country is different and we didn't take so many that they overwhelmed and, the country and the same thing is we had to happen. shut down german immigration this, this, because ben franklin was worried we'd all be speaking german and, and he the was same right. thing's going to happen shut it. with it's mexicans n- no same no. thing's going to happen no with the, the, yes the same thing is going to happen and you know what the same thing is we shut it down yeah. We shut it down so we have a period to assimilate the ones already here. And when you don't keep dumping the, when you're bringing in millions of people, we have a little Mogadishu in Minnesota. They're not assimilating. We They're have, going to fight with we ISIS. We have a little whatever all over the country. We have little Italy in New York. We have little, uh, we have Chinatown. We have all kinds of That's little a, conclaves. A, a food, a restaurant novelty. Uh, but the point, no, you've got a community there as well. Where no, people but have, Italians. You had the Lower East Side where the Jews lived in New York. No, when Italians they first came are every bit as wasp be as the original Americans. That's what happens lo- so to everyone who gets So as long as people here. stay waspy, it's okay. That is the character Jew- of America. Are Jews waspy? As if, if you read my book, I have oh, like look, I know about your book. a I chapter your book. on how is- Jews are better at assimilating. At, they are better wasps than yeah. the wasps yeah, are. Yeah, you tell my family how waspy they are. They'll, you know, well, I don't think that's well, going to go very well. Stroll up Madison Avenue yeah. and take a peek at Ralph Lipschitz's store.
Ralph Lauren, the That's embodiment right. of American culture. One guy culture. who changed his name and may believe is from the West. Not We're, one guy. Yeah. I have a whole list of them. Yeah. I mean, the one, the one, the I one industry in I read that in your book, in America, by the way, about Ralph Lif- Shits. And, and there was a whole yeah. list of them. And the, the Hollywood, the one industry in America that really was created by immigrants, and it was mostly, not all, but mostly Jewish immigrants, Hollywood. Look at all these Hollywood movies. It was all celebrating America, America, patriotic movies, wasp culture, the, 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 the premier American garment. So so invented by Levi Strauss, so you a Jew. We have Jews to be, are waspier than wasps so we are. We have to maintain a wasp culture. That's the that's the bottom that, line for you. Well, it's not the bottom line for me. It's what America is, and you can't be dumping backward third world people with their clitorectomies and their honor killings and their jihad. You can't dump them and and child rape and gang rape. You it's ha- it's happening in America. It's not happening in New York a City. Vetting process. Oh, can yeah, be yeah the vetting is working okay. fantastically is. well. As a matter of fact, Thus, be right back 9-11, in, Chattanooga, Boston uh, Marathon vetting's going great. Well, you can certainly pick out outliers oh, yeah, and lone that's wolves an outlier. that does not represent Every terrorist attack in this country has been committed by immigrants. That's not true. Back in a moment at 877-4-ALAN. Think ditto heads only call other radio hosts? Alan's got his own. Go to hell, you lefty. Ah, you could do better than that. Give it a try at 877-4-ALAN. 877-367-2526. Bring them on. Alan Coles. Coming up in the next hour of the Friday Night Free For All, uh, next week on the uh, program, among our guests, uh, Damon John of Shark Tank will be here, how being uh, broke can actually make you rich. Uh, Trent Lott and Tom Daschle on the program uh, next week, and Libertarian presidential candidate Gary Johnson. Is he All running? On the program. <laughs> yes, he is. Well, uh, yes, he is running. I thought you were talking about the last time you mentioned him. Well, yeah, he's, he's running. running. <laughs> yeah, why are you laughing? It's Gary Johnson. <laughs> He's the real deal. He's a true libertarian, <laughs> and he's a very good guy. I don't think so. Okay. We disagree. <laughs> what a shock. Uh, Paul in Woodenville, Washington. Hello. Oh, hey. Hi, Ann. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Uh, you know, I, I, you, you said that wasp culture is American culture, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Well, how is it that, uh, for instance, wasps like me don't agree with wasps like you? Um, it isn't that we agree on everything. It is, right. as I on just... No, I mean, on nothing. Okay, on nothing. It isn't a matter of agreement. It is, um, I'm guessing that you didn't have your daughters have clitorectomies. I'm guessing you're not a child rapist or a gang rapist. I just pointed out to, you know, Alan, when we go to the commercial break, you should you should see him right here. Look on your webcam. Um, he, look, <laughs> he looks like he's out of Ralph Lauren here. Oh, it's, well, it's, oh because I'm well-dressed? It's not a matter because of I'm having the suit? same political beliefs. No, look at those glasses. But those are, those okay. Are, look these, like, are, these, are these are C. These are C. Sea glasses made by uh, C, a company called C. Uh, made in France, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> They're made in France, where I get my potatoes, French fries. It's, look, this isn't, I'm not inventing this. They're I'm, freedom glasses. I'm citing various, you know, um, Harvard, UCLA professors who have studied and looked at this. What is it that makes this country, this culture so successful, how, so honest? Do you understand how that sounds racist? Oh, would you, you stop with how the how things sound? I don't care about how things sound. I want to speak the truth, and I'm answering this nice man's question. Um, yes, I'm a very nice man. A very, he is a very no, nice, I, nice I'm, man. I, I think you are a very nice man. He's a big nice lip, man. by the way. No, that's him. fine, but that isn't what I'm, I'm saying, that we have the hey, same hey, beliefs. Hey, 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 hold the phone. I'm not a liberal, Alan. You, divide, you say you're liberal, <laughs> and I like you, but I am what we call a normal. You see, I'm a normal... <laughs> Anne says she's a way, 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 way over there. No, I'm a moderate in the tradition of Lewis <laughs> Powell. <laughs> okay, let's let's. The tradition let's, of who? Lewis and, Powell. And you're just gonna, you're just gonna, you're gonna go machine gun, blah, 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 blah. You're gonna, you're gonna. Go no, I was it. answering your question. I've done a lot okay. of research on the topic. I thought it would be interesting. I know, but I'm tired of that answer. Okay, so let's go to another one. Uh, Very quickly, uh, I got to move the, quickly here. Uh, I know. That's why I'm trying to move on. Okay. Uh, so move no, on. It's not, it's not settled law, really. That uh, that uh, Ted Cruz is a citizen, as you know from Marbury versus Madison, only the Supreme Court can decide, right? Well, not words, exactly. I mean, oh, wait, it, do you say do you say that the Supreme Court decided for Ted Cruz in Kim Wan Ark? No. No, it's it's it because it's each case on in this kind of thing. It's each no, case. No, but there are 
but there are principles of law. Every, we don't I have to. That. We don't have to go through. Is Alan Combs' radio show speech? Let's for relitigate some, that. For some things, is the New York you know, Times speech? Um, no, there's some. There are principles that are decided, and the principle that is decided very clearly is: if Congress has to pass a law to make you a citizen, you're not a natural born citizen. Does Ted Cruz need a ruling as Tom, no, Donald he, Trump? Donald Trump says get a ruling so we know if you're going to run or I not. I doubt that could be done, but it, but contrary to what you're hearing on TV, there are ways to bring such a lawsuit. For one no. thing, Hillary definitely could. All right, Paul. Thank Democrats you. Democrats definitely uh, could to prevent him from if he and he's not going to be the nominee. Neither um, is Trump. Trump is totally. BB in Oak Park, Illinois. Hello. Wait, if we hey, made a hold bet, on, hold on one you, second, BB. Go ahead. If we made a bet, could you make him pay? <laughs> I don't uh, do bets except with my health and career. Uh, we won't make it too much. All right. How I about a hundred dollar bet that no, Trump's no, the nominee? I don't bet. Don't bet. No, I just bet with my, you know. I'm generally well-being. against gambling, yeah. but I see it yeah, I'm not shot for that. easy money. All right, BB, and uh, <laughs> I like you need the hundred bucks. Uh, BB in Oak Park, Illinois. Go ahead. Hi, Alan. Hi, Mrs. Coulter. How are you? Fine, it's not Mrs. You. Coulter, although yes. I had the pleasure of meeting Mrs. Coulter. Again. Yes. But go ahead. Uh, gave you your mom up. liked me, by yes, the way. Yes, she did. All right. Go ahead, B.B. you only got a moment here. Go ahead. Uh, and look, I'm African-American. I'm educated. And this I know. And I, a lot of African-Americans I know of, we speak of this. The Democrats are snakes, but the Republicans are poisonous snakes. And so no matter how often you try to tell me that Republicans would do better for, for African-Americans, we find that laughable. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to check to make sure my wallet is in my back pocket whenever a Republican talks like that. The history speaks for itself. You guys have voted suppression. Oh, being against civil rights law. There is absolutely That's no false. way African... I'm you sorry, have to read my book, Mugs. That's the truth. You've been lied to. Look, I don't necessarily disagree. Very well without your book. Hey, BB. Know these things. BB. Um, look, I don't necessarily disagree with you on the um, many Republicans, um, because as I've probably made clear here, um, I think immigration has been. Um, extremely bad for African Americans and white Americans and Hispanic Americans and most of my party uh, at least the ones based in Washington clearly do not give two craps about that. They want to please their donors. Um, This is why I've been so delighted by Donald Trump we finally have someone who is not responding to the donors who cares about um, Americans and American wages and American jobs but as for you know the general history of the Republican Party if you care um, there are a lot of lies out there. It's a fun read, and the truth is told in mugged. And, and I'd, I'd appreciate if you read it and called back. All right. Thank you for the call. So uh, you're, uh, when are you going to start your next book, and do you have, you have an idea of what it might be? All I can do is sit home and watch Donald Trump. You're going to write a book about <laughs> Trump, aren't you? You're going to write a book about I'm the Trump to... phenomenon. That's I'm... the book. That's your next book. It's already the, It's Adios America. If he wins, I'll just— I'm just. What do you do if he doesn't win? Well, I think it's very important that he be the nominee and run because there is there is a possibility that Democrats have changed the demographics of this country enough that Republicans, no Republican can win. If any Republican can win, it's Trump. I don't think he and can. And if that's the case, that they have changed the demographics that no Republican can win, good. I won't have to waste my time on politics anymore. I'll start writing fiction. So that's it. If Trump loses, you're going to write fiction. Yeah, but I don't want to waste my time arguing about, you know, how Republicans are going to re- 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 repeal and replace Obamacare because Republicans, you're never going to win. All right. Thank you, Ann, for being here tonight. Good a to pleasure be here. as always. And uh, we'll be right back with our Friday Night Free For All at 877 4 Allen, 877 367 2526 online at allen.com. 